What is going on guys? It is James Plays, and uh, today we're going to be working on not the townhouse um, on the city. So we've been working on the townhouse for quite a while, and it's looking really good so far, but we've been working on it for a, for, a, for a while now. So I think it's time for a little bit of a break, because working on one thing for too long can be exhausting. So, um, I have just gotten off of school yesterday, um, the 25th was my final day at school uh, for my junior year, so I should be able to be doing a lot more of those, uh, those, those videos that are very nice, where we can just fly around and do a bunch of stuff with music in the background, um, or whatever, but today, we do not, we're not doing that. today we're doing the, um, we're working on this side of the hospital, because we have not worked on it at all. Um, as you can see, all we have is a basic outlay uh, of the hospital and very fancy door. Because this is the, um, the, uh, the, the door, um, This one's the more general side of the hospital, and this one's the more um, holding, holding people who are severe. So this this side is, has is definitely more to to uh, the same rate by being able to just seal everybody inside. Yep. So the only three entrances to this side of the hospital are going to be these three doors that we have sealed up now. Um, if you want to see the redstone, I can, I'll do that real quick, actually, because why not? Uh, so that is... I need blocks, I need to fix it, though. Uh, I think that's brown. And, uh, but yeah, if you want to see... Whoa. Okay. Uh, if you want to see the redstone, it's right here. The, this is where the, uh, the button comes down. Above this, and then it goes down around to the T flip flop, which uh, then activates the uh, the very fancy uh, pistons that can then control the uh, pushing and the up and down of fantastic little thing. Uh, But uh, that's just kind of a good view of what this is. Um, but now, now we get to do something really fun, which is working on this, on this. So, the first order of business, first, is going to be to figure out how many rooms we're going to have in each of these little blocks. So, let's grab ourselves a fancy, fancy, fancy. And now this side right here, is roughly 26, 226, and this is 93, so, one minute, so, that would be about over 3 and then over 30, so over, so this is 33 across, 33 that way, now, um, including both edge walls, and this is how much farther? Uh, 93, 88, that's five. So this is 38 across. So, including the edge walls. So now we can do some fancy things uh, and uh, we can separate these into some sections. So including the two edges, or in not including them, that would be 31 blocks. So 31 blocks, I'm thinking maybe four, 
for five rooms could be good here. So I'm thinking that we perhaps um I think it's uh, okay. We got it. what I'm thinking is six blocks. I I just kind of did basic math in my head. We should have one extra block. Um, no, we should. For six wide rooms, that would be one. So this would be a six wide room. So it'd be five across uh, with one room. Then right here, we have another one. Uh, five to go. And then so on and so forth. Let's actually just make sure that we get a map right. That's kind of the general gist. If we make this one longer, this would be a block there. Two block gap. This would have three block gap. And then there would be a large uh, area here. So, what I'm thinking is that. Actually, I'm kind of thinking the, uh, the larger. A larger size. We'll have a four block gap here, but it'll definitely fix itself um, on, the, uh, on the other one, right? So let's go over to the longer side for him. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the seventh block, uh, so that's going to be kind of, kind of a test of There you go, and then you have the uh, block room on the side. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking for the size of the room. That's a pretty solid size room um, for a single individual. Uh, I'm just trying to make this size. I mean, actually, I think that might be a little big for a single person. Um, five blocks is a bit more. And this room's not quite big enough for the That's that's a, that's definitely that's less space uh, in the, uh, the little gap here, um, but yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be better. Uh, so let's actually just kind of bring this across. So we're going to do this on the top actually because uh, we're going to we're probably going to do stuff on the bottom. Um, plus, this way it's easier for us to just bring this straight across, you know. Uh, so let's grab out our favorite potion, the speed two. So, as we do this, uh, we, can, we can get a nice um, kind of like cross-section thing here. Uh, I'll get rid of that in just a minute. Um, okay. Not this room. These two rooms are going to be very different. And by very different, I mean slightly different. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty solid size for a single person. Um, Going across. So all we're doing right here is really just dividing up the rooms into equal size, equal size space. Um, and this is just going to make it so that it's all uniform and we don't have to like uh, think about how exactly we're going to divide everything up. Stop it. Stop that. Um, it just, it's just going to make it easier for us to build the walls and then furnish these rooms. Uh, later. So this is actually going to be super interesting. Uh, um, I don't know. Here, let's just 
rid of it. That way we can get rid of the bottom. Right here. Good. Good. Uh, we'll do this very end first. Um, uh, so this wall is kind of a These are just going to be pretty much the uh, first section of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, the next part is, of course, um, deciding what we actually want to do for the interior of these rooms. So for right now, uh, I'm thinking we're, we can kind of do kind of a similar thing to what we did over here, which is, I think, one bathroom for two rooms. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. Uh, maybe we'll just have, maybe we'll just do it differently and have a single bathroom for each hallway um, that people will move to. But I'm pretty sure that a bathroom for multiple, uh, uh, one bathroom for two rooms is going to be more uh, accurate. And if not accurate, it's just, I guess, better. Right here, it's gonna be like this. This should go with that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much all that we're gonna need to do for the uh, for the roof part right now. Um, the roof is actually gonna be on this layer, so it's gonna go over top like this, like this. Um, we're not doing that now. We furnish the roofs for the flooring. That's actually pretty much what we're going to be doing for the Next, uh, we're going to want to do the floors. So what I'm thinking is... So there's five rooms here. Um, what we can do... We should, we should separate this out first. So I want the bathroom to have a different flooring than the... Uh, so let's start out with where you let's not start out with this because this is not a bad number. Uh, let's actually at least these work better. So right now we can have a bedroom here, 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 and here for that to work out. And that would work out because that would make it so there's four bedrooms and two bathrooms, or four hospital rooms and two bathrooms um, per half of hallway which would give us a total of uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 hospital rooms and 8 bathrooms uh, for these 4 hallways. And now the only problem is these, because I'm not sure what to do with these 3 little areas here. So, um, we're just going to kind of do the flooring a little bit here. Um, So I'm just going to kind of cut out the floor and see what I like, um, because I definitely want this to be the floor, but I'm not 100% sure where I want the bed or the door to be, you know. Um, I think maybe here. If we put that there, um, we're going to have to put this door there. Um, this one. And then we extend the same across the hall. Um, basically, anywhere there's a door going in is where we're going to be. So let's quickly put in the doors on the opposite side. Uh, we're not gonna. We're gonna come back to it later and actually do all the uh, the fancy, fancy uh, entrance things because we're gonna have the entrance. I'm not going to be like this, we're going to probably be very similar to what we did in the other side.
right there. So that should be good uh, for this side. Then this is the last one that we're gonna have to put in doors for this, uh, for this wall, I guess. Um, yeah. I do want this side to be pretty similar to the other side, just, you know, a bit different. Um, a lot of the rooms over here are probably gonna be, like, rooms with equipment. Actually, we could do, we could do a couple of these over here. So, like, one, a couple of these rooms could be, like, That looked weird. I thought this was five block or four block and this was five. They look different sizes, but not very different um, that's probably just a little But uh, yeah, anyway. So we can probably use a couple of these rooms to house like equipment, uh, x-rays, uh, MRI machines, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Cool. But yeah, so that's gonna be the general plan for this side of the hospital. Now let's work on these rooms. Uh, if we can continue to put going through, uh, these three, bed, uh, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, 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 uh, we can leave the other two rooms with materials and equipment, but I do kinda want this to be because we do definitely need to so right here, go across, like this, okay, like this, that way, okay, right here, um, okay, so that should be good, oh wait, I didn't need to do that, because we're not doing the actual, Stuff here, right? Um, anyway, um, actually, we can just put these on here. Uh, it might not be right there per se, but they can be kind of in that area. And if we put those right there, they can be right here as well. Okay, so this should be accurate now. Okay, there we go. So that's going to be kind of what the uh, the like the hospital looks like, I guess. Um, these rooms with the, uh, with the, uh, the floor going into the doorway right here are going to be, uh, patient rooms, you know, so these two, uh, the other two rooms on these types, on these shorter hallways are going to be, um, uh, materials rooms, so I'm just going to kind of label that real quickly like that. Uh, we don't need to label it for the others for the rest of these rooms because uh, these are just going to follow the same pattern of bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, over and over and over. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much what we're doing for that. Uh, the next order of business is why is the staircase on the outside? I just why 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 did I do this? Whatever. Uh, we'll we'll fix it later. Um, because we're actually r running out of time. Uh, we will, next episode we work on this, we'll probably be doing a speed build, uh, filling in all the floors and the walls for the interior of this, and uh, the just the normal floors for the bedrooms and bathrooms, and maybe some of these utility room things. Uh, we'll also be probably working on finishing this thing, because it's done except for copying up the, uh, the types, basically this floor plan. I want it on all the floors. Um, and that's going to be what we're doing with that. So, um, I will see. That's probably what we're going to be doing next episode. It's going to be probably one of those kind of speed um, speed things. But yeah, for now, uh, we're good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see some stuff that's like this in the future. Um, and some stuff that's not like this, of course. Uh, yeah, share the video with people who you think would enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.